Scientists from around the world came together to study the currents in the ocean in new ways. And to do it, they had to ask themselves, how can we measure the currents accurately? The answer may seem easy. Strap a GPS onto something that floats and voila, you've got a current drifter, right? But soon they realized that it's not that simple. Drifters need to be designed in very specific ways. They already had a drifter design they knew would work. They named him Bob. But he was big and made of thick plastic, and releasing thousands of him into the ocean would equate to tons of plastic pollution. We can't pollute the ocean. We need a design that is biodegradable. The first attempt was made of wood. It was easy to cut and assemble, but it stood too tall out of the water. We are so disappointed. We have failed. But they refused to give up. They removed the mast and added a circular float. But then they noticed that the motion of the waves would cause the drifter to move against the current. Then they tried decoupling the float from the counterweight, and the wave motion stopped. It's working! Yay! The new design worked well in the lab, so they took it to the ocean to test. But after a few weeks, water absorbed into the wood, and it sank. We are so disappointed. We have failed. We cannot have a drifter that absorbs water. We need a different material. They tried plywood, cork, and bamboo, but nothing worked. They replaced the wooden float with aluminum and gum rubber. But after two weeks, they still sunk. We need something like plastic, but biodegradable. And after some research, they learned about polyhydroxy or PHA, a type of polyester made of bacterial fermentation of sugar. With this, they could make a waterproof and biodegradable drifter that would slowly get eaten by bacteria in the sea. The scientists were happy. Yeah, yes. With a design that worked and a biodegradable material, they put thousands of them on a boat and journeyed out into the Gulf of Mexico. Out at sea, they assembled each drifter. Some of them went together easily, some less easily. Once they were built, they deployed them in configurations that would teach them about how current flows. Sometimes they would do this in calm seas, and sometimes in stormy seas. All in all, they deployed 1,000 drifters across the northern Gulf of Mexico, making it the largest ocean drifter experiment ever performed. For three months, they transmitted the strength of the ocean currents, teaching us more about the ocean than we ever knew before. The scientists also learned that every time they failed, they learned something new, and through hard work and determination, they would eventually succeed.